In this video, I'll show you how to record into audio and MIDI tracks at the same time in GarageBand for Mac. Alright, diving right into GarageBand on Mac then. In this project, I have an audio track and a software instrument slash MIDI track already set up. By default, there isn't any obvious way to have both of these different track types record simultaneously. That's where the track header options come in. Head to track in the toolbar and select configure track header, or use the keyboard shortcut option and T to open the track header configuration options. In this menu, you have several features that you can add to your track headers. The one that we want is record enable. Checking the box will add the record enable button to all track headers in your project, with the exception of any drummer tracks, obviously. Your first track will be record enabled by default, so you just need to click on the record enable button on the track header of the other track you want to record simultaneously. Now when you hit record, the audio track will record audio either from the built in mic on your Mac if it has one, or an attached microphone, and the software instrument track will record the notes you play on an attached MIDI controller, or even the keys on your typing keyboard if you have musical typing enabled. You can even add more tracks to record at the same time if you want by simply adding more audio or MIDI tracks and following the earlier steps to arm them to record simultaneously. Let me know your thoughts on multi-track recording in GarageBand down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on the way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. For more information on fixing timing mistakes in audio recordings using FlexTime in GarageBand for Mac, watch this next.